Hello teachers, today I'm going to show you how to import all of your material from old courses into new courses for when you either start the year or in this case when you start semester two. So first things first, to get everything back in order and into your new courses, head to your home page and go to your schedule. Click this arrow to get to the start of your semester. So this is semester two starting on February 1st and you can see my courses have change slightly here. So I'll show you this with physics 12. So click on in. Now you can see I have nothing on my bulletin board. I have nothing in topics and I have nothing in my assignments. But fear not, going back to bulletin board, click on enter edit mode. And over here you'll see import material. Choose last year. So in this case, it's 2017, 2018. Select the course that you taught. So SPH4U is what I'm using here. So if you click into downloads, you'll see anything that you had as a download before. I suggest just clicking select all on everything here. Select all, bringing everything in, all of your news. I had textbook to buy, downloading apps, uh, and any text here, which was just a welcome message, select all. Once you've done that, click save, and make sure you click on the green button on the bottom left, publish layout changes. So now if I go back to my bulletin board on the top left, I will have everything available on this bulletin board. Now they might not show up yet, but that's okay. They're gonna show up in a couple of days once the semester starts. So if you've done that, you're fine. Moving on to topics. To import topics, go to the right over here and import. My suggestion would be to scroll down away from my topics and go under topic bank. If you import something from the topic bank, it will be a copy of a topic rather than being the actual thing. So if Susanna made this topic before and I chose it from the upper section, my topics, it would actually be her exact copy. And if I edited it, then it would be changed forever and she doesn't want that. So make sure you go down to topic bank, choose your year, select the teacher that actually taught this course. So in my case, it's still me, but in your case, it might be another teacher. Select your course, and here are all of my topics ready to go. So I would select all, and I'm all set. Uh, and I can choose the publish date, although in this case, they're published right away. Scroll down, and save. Now you can see all of my topics have been brought in. They're in order, exactly how I had it before. Once you bring in topics, make sure you contact the teacher who taught the course before, uh, just in case. Moving on to assignments, if you click on import on the right again and choose your prior year, the teacher, and the course, you will see that all of the assignments are available to you here. Select all. What you're going to have to do is choose an assigned date for each one of these, as you see the red asterisks here. So I would just go in, choose an assigned date of somewhere in the future, unless you know exactly when they are. Once you've entered in all of the assigned dates, go over to due date. It's not necessary, but if you do know when it's due, you might as well put it in. Here, I'm gonna make it easy and just put it the same date. I'm gonna go in later and change these. And once you're done, click save. Now, if you look at future, because it hasn't started yet, you have all of your evaluations ready to go with their assigned dates and their due dates. And your course is all set. So to do another course, all you gotta do is go back to your schedule, go to the first day of your semester, click on the other course and do the exact same thing. And that's it from me. Hope that was helpful.